Right, so we need, I'm assuming focus, I think. Right. What's that going down to a swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see this fish. Oh my goodness, look at that. <clears throat> it's a big ball of throw your glasses in. Imagine how many nice frames are in here though. All those people don't need glasses anymore. Yeah, but look how beautiful some of the frames are going to be. I'm just looking for some boards. No, bench. Bench. GG. What's this one? Some caramelons in there. What's that one? What's which one? That is um, that makeup brand. Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury. I know they did glasses. Maybe? I don't know. It looks like that, doesn't it? It looks like that, see. Right, so what major questions are we going to have? The self-count one. Yep. Rubbing your eyes. Yep. I know that it's a lame question. Why do you think you're going to gonna keep rubbing your eyes so much though? Why you do know, you You know what, eyes? I'm telling you, my eyes are feeling, I have been feeling a bit sore recently and I haven't really been wearing my contacts. I don't know if it's just lack of sleep or tiredness or what it is. Dehydration? Yes, because it's my, my, my um, lower right lid and the inside actually has been twitching and it's just such a weird place to, to be um, flickering. Stop now, has your stop? Yeah, mine stopped. I drank loads of water. Yeah, I did. I just drank and drank and drank and drank. <coughs> because I'm a plus. No, but he said that for it blending. I know, but I'm a plus description. If my people are too big, I'm going to get there. If my. I'm a plus. They're bigger than yours. Yeah, mine's a tiny. Yeah. So I had a patient that came into work once and she said, Oh, I was told I'm not eligible because my people are too big and I'm going to get there and hate this. I don't want to go ahead of Okay, I'll see you all. Just take your people to the tiny Yeah, they are tiny. <laughs> I, everyone hated doing uh, ophthalmoscopy on me at uni because I couldn't see properly because my pupils were always so tiny. And especially on the session, I was like, oh, I've got Sarah again. <laughs> yeah, you need to find the hard to find the option. You're never going to get that tongue glow, you're never going to get. He did say that. Inshallah. Yeah, he did say, well, don't say never, yeah. I mean, no, it's just, I do feel a bit like, what if it goes wrong? <laughs> I just feel like I've left it too late now. Like I've left it really late. But even five years of perfect vision. I don't know how well you're gonna see. That's alright. Thank you. Okay, so just wear my glasses for a second. Yeah. Let me there. Oh, how old are they? They are from 2018, maybe? Okay. And they both are called They're single vision. Okay. Single Just give me a second, okay? Thank you. Actually, I'm going to miss my friends. I like them. You could use them as sunglasses. No, I like them as thingy. I'm going to use them as my reading glasses after this. <laughs> Make sure you look after them then. Yes. I'm having your frames if you get it. Yeah, you can. I'm going to take your legs. I'm happy. They've literally huh? worn maybe three times. Yeah, I've not even seen you wear this one before. I'm not. I don't. You wore the blue ones last time. Yeah, they're really scratched up now. My little one chucks them but off. Why? Why are they scratched up? Yeah, why do you not wear these frames? Why do you wear the blue Oh, these ones are the ones? nice ones. I don't know. They're quite heavy and I found the prescription a bit weird in the beginning. Where did you get these ones from? Vision Express. Let me check on the thing. That's okay? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna see a blue light. Yeah. I'm gonna see a black circle in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the blue light is gonna rotate. No, I just always want you to focus on the black circle in the middle. Okay. So just take a couple of blinks and keep it nice and wide now and shine out the blank. Okay, we can rest back. Do I keep my mask on for this even though I'm blowing up? It's up to you. Okay. 
It can sometimes. Um, steam it. I feel like I'm steaming steam. it up. No, it shouldn't affect this one. Okay, okay perfect. Same process for your now. Okay, again, a couple of blinks. And nice and wide now. What is this machine? You can just work. It's called Penteca. Penteca. It's like a 3D mark of your cornea. Oh, nice. Uh, this is the one where you kept dropping your eyelid. Oh, my eyelid. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I might. Eyelid kept coming down. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Thank you. Okay. Right, I'm steaming this up. I can feel it. Okay, just focus on the hot air balloon. And without in and out of focus. And same for your left angle. So this one checks your eye pressure. Oh. Yes, I'm going to feel a light bubble fan in your eye, okay? I'm not good at this. Yeah, that's a common right. <laughs> okay, just look straight ahead. And just one more time. Same for your left hand And just one last time. And you can rest back. Are you much better than I am? Oh, <laughs> I have really dry eyes, I hate that. Sorry. Is it okay if I stand here? Is it okay if I stand here? Then I'll keep coming. So these are all the machines that you had in the different rooms in the hospital. Oh. They're just all together. They're the same things. Yeah. It's all the different machines. Do you know how to use this machine? I've never done it. I've never taken it. I've read the I've read the results, but I've never. Oh, so you've never done an OCT? No, I don't. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, that's okay. I'm just gonna quickly measure the size of your pupils. Okay. So I'm gonna press against your heart, okay? Yeah. So I'm gonna press your eyes. Okay. Yeah. You just lift your chin up a bit. You're gonna see like a very faint orange light. You can see just straight the focus with it. That's right. Okay. So it's fine. Just like Sorry, I'm gonna get out of your way. Thank you. Is it a busy clinic today? Uh, it's not too busy on this, to be honest, surprisingly. We went to the East Grinstead. We saw him in the hospital last time. Okay. Yeah. What was it busy? He was, it was evening. He wasn't busy. Oh, yeah. It was evening. It was Check how the fighting. Uh, I can't see the forehead is too high. Uh, it's okay. Just one more time. Again, a couple of blinks. And nice and wide now. And you can blink as normal. And 
one more time. A couple of minutes. Nice and wide now. Okay, two guys back. Good. The amount of water I've drunk over the weekend. So why are you drunk here? Literally, I've been drinking so much since Thursday. Is that why? Yeah, just because mm -hmm. I didn't want dry scratchy eyes today. Okay. They feel scratchy. Again, just look straight ahead for I need to get those. Oh, I'll, keep, so I'll keep forgetting to ask you to order them for me. You need to get them. I don't you, use eye drops as much now. Can you just do it for me? Whatever you think is good. I should have bought them with me today. Yeah. I would have given them to you. Yes, We're we'll doing multiple scans for each eye to do this one as well, okay? Okay. Just what is this one called? What is this one? I am. Are you well, master? Okay, yeah. I'm that's fine, thank you. Okay, take a couple of looks. And keep it nice and wide now. Okay, can blink as well. Okay, now it's going to be green flash. Mm -hmm. Take a couple more blinks. And keep nice and wide now. Couple more blinks and wide again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can blink as well. And now same for the scale, okay? Okay, again, couple of blinks. And that's the wide now. Okay, you can blink as normal. And the green flash again. Take a couple more blinks. Nice and wide now. And a couple more blanks. And wide again. I think it was back. Do you remember that one time? There were little blinks and a big green flash. Yeah, I think so. I must have, right? I think it was in that separate room with the lady when she did your pickles. Okay. I've got a better memory than you are, I can't remember. <laughs> it was in July, so ages ago. Okay. How do you remember that? I had my consultation done in July in the hospital. Okay, that's right. Yep. Okay. Should I be some breathing for the flushes with this one as well, okay? The green or the orange? Uh, in the room. Okay, take a couple of blinks. And keep it nice and wide. I'm trying not to blink. Okay, we can blink as normal for now. Okay, same for the sphere, I know. That's the endothelial count, isn't it? Yes, that's the endothelial count, isn't it? Yeah, the ECC. Yeah, that's the, end, that's the last one to do it with you. Mm. Okay, perfect. 
Yeah. Yeah. We'll go back to the waiting area. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are you doing these scans again? I don't know. Yeah. We will find out. Shall I still phone? Thank you. 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 Thank this is one in the middle called IOL mask. I don't know. I think that's biometry. That's the length of the eye. Because okay. I think they use that for cataract surgery as well. Oh, okay. For how big the eye is and all that stuff. And then the autos. They didn't do my vision. They did vision for you. You made me oh, the chart. they haven't done vision yet. They probably will do vision. They didn't do VA. They did VA before that. I think, I'm sure they will do it. Yeah. I didn't remember the description. But I've sent it to him already. He's already got it. I didn't even send my prescription. Yeah, he measured your glasses. Yeah. yeah. Then Sarah's gonna have your glasses. He measured your glasses. He measured, your glasses he measured my glasses as well. So you're gonna have your sight test now. Yeah. He said that I'm gonna have some scans though. He said we're gonna repeat the scans before ordering the lens. Just to get, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right, so I've just had my sight test and my refraction and she's put dilating drops in. She didn't want to be filmed, which is understandable. And now I'm waiting to see her model next. And Sarah's had her um, scans done again and now she's gone in for her eye test to see her prescription. Um, my prescription is stable, so we will see if I am suitable based on my measurements. So we'll find that out next. But my pupils are starting to dilate, so we will see what happens next. So I have been told that my prescription is complex because I am a plus prescription with high astigmatism, hence my glasses are thick and very magnified. Um, Sarah is a simple myopia, hardly any astigmatism, so she's been given the green light, so she will be going ahead with surgery with the implant um, once these measurements today are done and then um, I'll see if I am suitable or not and maybe just a reduction you see how thick they are my eyes are rotating but yeah so I can't see anything now anyway okay so I thought I did I had I had those scans that you just redone really the scans yep and then I had my refraction as well so yes, so we both had an eye test, we both got our actual prescriptions and now we're going to see the consultant together. Yes, yes she said we could yeah. see him. And we're going to see, he's going to see all our scans, our prescription, the health of our eyes and say, yeah, you're yay. Well, you've already got a yay. Yeah, in that sense, but now I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Gosh, so I don't know if I'm going to be suitable, so we'll find out. Yes. But I'm dilating and it's giving me a headache. <laughs> it's getting really bad. Hence the driver is here. <laughs> um, and I'm getting foggy lenses. And you're getting foggy lenses. We need to get some no fog wipes. Mm. So we'll see. Why are you confused? You've got the green light. You can have ICL. So when I went in for the eye test, um, he was like, oh, your everything prescription's good and your corneas are healthy and thick and everything's perfect. So why are you going for ICL? Why are you not doing laser? And I was like, um... But what is, your, what, what is your answer for that question? Why are you doing ICR not laser? Because um, I hate the fact that there is even a small chance that I may get dry eyes with laser. Um, the fact that ICL is reversible. All of the Hansa's immaculate research but the point that she's is, done. But the point is, all that research is really good for a myopic short sight person. Yes. And I've been told I'm complex. Yeah, you've been told you're complex prescription. But yeah, so now I'm confused because she was like, why are you doing it? She was like, you know, ICL is a very invasive procedure. Um, but I think all of that in the right hands, it's a small risk. And she was like, there's loads of risks, whereas with the laser, you're back up and at it. The next day with ICL, it takes days or I don't know, weeks. Yeah, months. you're going to have to go to keep your shield on your eyes. Yeah, right? she's like, you've got a two-year-old. <laughs> you're going to be able to sleep with those Mask, plastic. plastic. Yeah. yeah. I was like, mm, I don't know now. No, I know. You do know. I want 
to do ICL, but I'm confused now because you know when someone puts a different, not a different point of view, I've never really loved laser anyway because if I did, I would have 100% done it years ago, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Who started this thing first, me or you? I told you, I said to you, I want to get laser done, and you were like, oh, there's a new. <laughs> it's not new, it's, it's it well, new to me. It was new to you, and I had never heard of ICL at that point. And you were telling me about ICL and you were like actually and then you did your crazy research and you <laughs> narrowed down to the best <laughs> person that you thought would be good for it and i just went to loads and loads of webinars and i read loads and loads of blogs and i found people that had done it and i just binged on finding you out. you basically did your research anyway so i but they were all they were all minus they're all like you they were they were they were short sighted people. Is that why, very is that why you're unsure about yourself? No, no, I'm not I'm not that I'm, I'm if I'm suitable I'm gonna do it. Okay. If I can do it, I'm gonna do it. Okay. If I get told I can't do it, that's a whole, there's no plan B. I no, no plan B. <laughs> <laughs> there's no option of laser, there's no option, there's no plan B. Oh okay. plan B is I get your friends. <laughs> you can have my friends if I get it done, honestly. You can have these. <laughs> you can have these. Um, yeah. I think that if you were minus eight, minus nine, minus ten, and you're short sighted, it's easier. That's what she said. She goes, your prescription is not even that high. She goes, if your prescription was like minus nine, then I would, I wouldn't even. Think yeah, but some people say ICL. minus six and above ICL. I'm just on the border of that because I'm five plus, like five minus with five your seals. Yeah, yeah. He's, he said you didn't need a toric implant. No, I think he's, he's, he's priced you for a normal implant. Yeah, yeah. not a toric implant. That's I would need a toric implant. You would. And iridectomy, apparently. I'm the needles, so <laughs> I need to stand up. <laughs> Sorry, my foot's trying to feel. I don't know why. You know what? I haven't drank enough water. You never drink enough water. I know, I don't. Much There's water my there. Husband's dismay. Let me go to the room. I don't know what I'm going to. I know. If, I, if I'm suitable, I'm going to do it. If I'm not suitable, I'm going to be in glasses. And I would be an irritated, very vocal wearer. I know. So, how's that? <laughs> Why did you choose ICL? I chose ICL because I would never touch my cornea. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do laser. I'd rather just be in glass. I don't hate my glasses enough. I don't yeah. hate my glasses enough to do laser surgery. So, if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to do ICL. Mm -hmm. And if I can't do ICL, I'm going to do nothing. But if I can do it, it just means that when I go on holiday, I can jump in the sea, I can go swimming. Yeah. All the, and also, my unaided vision is disgusting now. Whereas before, it didn't bother me. Oh, my so you unaided could go around without your glasses? Yeah, I could. Now I can't. I really can't. Like, so I before, really... you had to drive with your glasses on. But generally, if you walked out your house to the shop... No, no, no. Before, I could drive without my glasses. In my 20s, I could drive without my glasses. Okay. Quite comfortably. So when do you think your prescription changed? In my 30s. Oh, okay. I, I, my, I can't accommodate as much. My accommodation is less. I need my accommodation for now. I can't accommodate my distance anymore. Oh. So now I'm relying on them more. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't mind them. I still don't mind my glasses. I just don't want to be a high astigmatism, very focal wearer where each pair of my glasses costs upwards of £500. Yeah, exactly. It all adds up, to be honest. Yeah. It will be expensive because then I'll end up having, what, Zeiss thin down. Very vocal. Yeah, very vocal is <laughs> that are going to be in one frame yeah i can't have and then two years later they'll be like oh your reading prescriptions changed and change, you need yeah. new very vocal you need new vocals and then i'm gonna to have to wear the same frame at the moment i wear a different frame every day yeah i wear a different frame in the evening when i get home so that's why i want to do it i just want to get rid of my cells yeah. get rid of my cells and I, even if i can wear daily contact lenses i'll be happy okay and you don't want daily toric lenses you just want i just normal want normal daily i just want normal daily in out bish bosh done easy I hope it's just what let's happens see. for you. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. But I also, I'm, I'm very content in knowing that if he says, no, you're not suitable, I'll be like, oh, I'll be sad with your glasses. I'll be like, oh, all right. I yeah. won't be like, right, now laser me instead, or now do this. Like, I will quite happily be like, okay, fine. Like, I'll be gutted. Yeah. But I'll be like, okay. You're like, fine. 
is the right decision. If he's not going to do it and he says it's not suitable, it's too high risk or the outcome is not going to be great. I mean, he's the perfect person. Yeah, and, and, and I have heard that he will quite happily just be like, mm, no. Okay. So if he says no, it's going to be for a reason. Okay. I should accept the no. Yeah, 100%. But he won't say no to you, you're done. I know, now I'm confused. I'm... No, no, it's fine. I need to just... You need to just go watch that webinar again. I need to watch the webinar. You need to just go, again. Wo you need to go watch that webinar again. <laughs> the one that you sent to me originally. The original one. Yeah. And the second one. There's a second one as well where he spoke about Kerry to Koenig. I don't know if I saw that one. I've got, they've sent it to me. Okay. I've got it on an email, but I have to download it from Dropbox or something. It got confusing. Okay. But we'll see. Ooh. I'm waiting. All right. All right. So Sarah is now in with. Mr. Hamada getting her final checks done. I've just had my final refraction prescription after my dilation drops. Very good. So I'm going to do the same for the other arm. Yeah. Look straight at my ear. If you look up now. Don't you? To your right. Good. Just look straight. Mark you once more. The CD like staining. the glands a little bit, I'm going to stress on those more gogomian glands, which is the only gland, look up for me, pressure there, yeah, okay, could be better. Mm -hmm. I think he said that to you last time as well. <laughs> yeah, so it's, been, it's not changed, right? <laughs> okay. I think she said she's dehydrated today. Yeah. Yeah, we can see the eye a little bit dry today. Yeah, they, uh, they, uh, yeah. I said that to Hansai, they, they, yeah. they've been feeling a little bit dry today. Yes, yeah, I can see that. And I think the main thing is to do with the myeloma gland dysfunction, MGD, which affecting both eyes. Okay. And make the tear film slightly unstable, but I'm more concerned about some staining on the cornea. Okay. Because that's more kind of ongoing issue, more than just today, a bit uncomfortable, a bit dry. Okay. Okay, so. So first of all, good to check on the retina. The retina looks healthy. This one is very close. It's so good. Beautiful. That's not more than 12. We're going to do exactly the same with the other eye. Mm -hmm. So just look at here. That's super good. That is the same as the biometry, which is good. Oh, so we have a confirmed now with a white to white measurement on both ways. Right. Good. So all that here is great. So we have so we have a nice basically okay. astigmatism. You can see it. Three point three. Am I complicated for you? No, no. But uh, there is more consideration here. Yeah. Okay, fine. So let's have a look first of all. Keep up the chin there for me. Good. If you look up from there, up to your right hand, up to your left, okay, put it down for me, down to your right, down left, over left, and right hand. Up to your right, up left, and down 
Okay. I think we need to put some drops already up the same, right? Yeah. Always do you use the strips in your practice? Yeah, we yeah. use it. Yeah. It's a really nice one. Feel from break around four five seconds. <coughs> I mean, not bad, bad, but could be better, right? Mm -hmm. If you look up for me, this is my first on the mid margin. Maybe I can put some down harder. There you go. Yeah, you can Grade two needle, mm -hmm. which is a bit turbid, no particles in it, but it's not clear clear. Look down for me, and that's more than 60% of the So it's slowing the absorption. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. And look down for me. Thank you. Good. There we go. So, what I'm going to discuss with you, my findings now, right? I'm straight up now. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit behind just to make sure you see the whole object of it. Look down for me. Look left and right. Good. Now let's do this one. Please. And down. And left. That's good. Thank you. So at least we have uh, images, we'll save them and you're fine. That's cool. And then that can be the yearly yeah. part of that. Yeah, there's nothing really to be scared of, to be honest. The same here. Yeah, that was my other thing that am I going to get nighttime glare because my pupils are bigger? I don't think so. The object central. So, what are you doing now? So, before it was OCT of the cornea, and now it's an OCT of the anterior chamber once I've been dilated to see how much depth there is there. Cool. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Now that I'm dilating it, it should technically be smaller. So you must see how small it gets because I'm a plus prescription. Okay. So my anterior chamber is more important than your minus prescription. Okay. So your minus, your anterior chamber is more important. Oh, 
I can't see anything now. Oh, oh blurry. Oh, that's not even a red dot, it's like the... Just does that first second. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, so this is how they do it. Put it at work, they put an extra lens on and it gets really close. Okay. Yep. How's it going for you? Um, quite fine, thank you. Okay, just going to adjust the lights. Yep. Through the head for now. Okay, now take a couple of links and keep it nice and wide now. Okay, you can link up our one. And just look straight ahead for now. Okay, perfect. We'll take a couple of links. And nice and wide now. You can blink as normal. Okay, and just one last time now. How do you feel? Yay! Feel good. Huh? Feel good. Okay, why? Because he said that we, both of us, are eligible. Yep. And uh, yeah, just happy about that. Then my eyes are a little bit dry, so I need to take. Supplements. Supplements like for that, it. yeah. But otherwise, good. Yeah. Right, let's go. Next time you're coming here, you're having... No, you're not coming here again. You're going to go... They said further down, right? Yeah, you're going to go to the other place for the actual surgery. I'm going to come here for the rejections. Yes. You're going to go to another building. Like this way. Sure. You're going to go to the other place. I'll take my thing off. Okay. Right, so, both doable. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're happy about that. I, you were really scared I that they were. No, but I honestly was like, my anterior chamber is not going to be happy about this. No, but, but he said it was really good, didn't he? Like yeah, because he made it, stuff? they did it again after dilation. Yeah. And That was, was to double check, wasn't it? Yeah, because that's the biggest anterior chamber is going to, you know, expand to. So, yes. happy, happy. So next move is iridectomy booking for me at this place and surgery booking for you yeah. at the other place. Yeah. And um, but we're waiting for the lens stock count. So your lens might be a stock lens. Yes. Which might, you know, just be in stock. And mine will definitely be at least six weeks, if not 12, 12 weeks. Max 12 weeks. Yeah. One. So your surgery is before my surgery. So mine might be in the Christmas holidays then. Maybe. Availability, wasn't I it? I don't know if I'll be able to do the Christmas. So I might have to do January. You said this about half term. I know. I, and, I, and we were all sick in half term. Then you longed it out again. Yeah. Yo, this should not go on YouTube. <laughs>